Okay, so now to complete the assignment, um, I'm going to go back to my PhotoP web application. Here's where I left off working with this one um, graphic. I'm going to slide back just to remember, remind myself a little bit of what else needs to happen, what's in the rubric. Uh, proper use of Photoshop tools to create text. That's going to be PhotoP rather than Photoshop to create text. We have texted or rather we have already created the text, created at least three text items. I've created two. I'm going to create a third one, and that is uh, I'm going to apply it to creating a new path to flow the text along. I haven't used the warp tool yet, so I will probably be adding this later. I don't know if it'll be today, but if you do at least these two, given the circumstances, you'll be fine. If you can figure out how to do the warp, and more power to you, by all means, it, you know, play with it and, and see what you come up with. I'm going to then, like I said, return over here. We're going to use the uh, path. The paths, remember, we used the channels before on um, uh, when we did the marine exercise. Now we have paths, and paths we have not truly mentioned. Maybe I opened the tool before for the face-to-face uh, -face classes, but uh, this is basically the only time that we're going to be using paths in this course. I'm not too sure of how it's going to go with uh, PhotoP. It seemed to be a little bit different, maybe a little bit lacking, but we're still going to try it. The pen tool is what we use to draw paths. Paths as opposed to uh, what happens with uh, the uh, brush, you know, that we just paint stuff on their pen or the free pen. Actually, they if you start to draw like this, the free pen has something like it and see what we end up with. This actually drew a path and then fill stuff inside. I'm going to undo that, edit, undo. And rather than using the free pen, I'm going to use just the pen because this is what we would use in Photoshop. So pen, I'm going to draw what's what I call on the other video, a roller coaster. I'm um, not going to free draw like I did with the other one. So instead, I'm going to click once um, somewhere here, and that's going to leave an anchor. And this is very much like the anchor that's at the very beginning of this text, at the very beginning of this text, or at the corner of the boxes whenever we're changing the sizes, in that it doesn't really exist. It's just a marker. And by that, I mean, since I want a loop that's going to go somewhere like that, that little motion that I did, I'm going to say, well, the top of that loop, it's going to be somewhere in here. I'm going to click, hold down the mouse button, and go to the right. I can press the Shift key so that it stays uh, in the same angle there. That other tool appears. Hopefully, it won't be any trouble. I let go of Shift, and I let go of the mouse button, and I'll come down to where the bottom of the loop is going to be. I'm going to click again, hold down the shift button, and draw to the right. And then somewhere over here, just click once. So although this is being filled with red, we can change that, the fill option to fill with none. The white square with the red uh, cross usually means nothing. It means, well, no color. Uh, I could use another color, but I really don't want to use it with the shape. So I'm going to stick with no color. I just want the shape. And maybe you notice that on the paths, uh, there is a new shape path. It's just called a path in Photoshop. And uh, this path is going to work just like this path that we drew when we clicked on the text tool. This one is straight. This one is not. This one is curved. I'm going to click on the type tool and hover and try to hit the path right on where it's crossing. And then I get a cursor that appears. And I have this green type. I'm going to change that to, I don't know, something else like uh, white. And uh, click OK. And I'm going to start to type something. And I think I typed in row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Notice how it keeps on typing. Because although it's registering that there is type that's being added, it's outside of the path. I'm going to press Control A to select all of that text. And I'm going to change the size to something smaller. And now I'm able to read it. So now I have row, row your boat gently down the stream. Because this is text, 
I can always go back and edit it. I'm not in my paths because this is for editing the path, but the layers have the text. I'll double click and I'll edit it in this fashion. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll change the color to something else. I'll put in yellow, click OK, use my move tool. And now I have yellow to make this a little bit more readable in the row, row your boat. Um, I'm going to add an effect, not a drop shadow, but rather an outer glow. Here's my tools. I'm going to change the blend mode from screen, which would make it lighter to uh, multiply, which will make it darker. Uh, I'm using a light color. Currently it's yellow. Click on that. And I'm going to select black and uh, click OK. Then I'm going to increase the um, size of this so that it actually glows and it glows black. I'll click OK. I'll use my Move tool, put this somewhere else. I could even rotate it a little bit. And now I have a third uh, type layer and I have uh, multiple effects all around. I have this image in the back and I have readable text. So thankfully this video was shorter than, than I expected and that's good because I'm trying to keep the lessons short. So um, this is just an introduction to the next assignment, which is going to be the big one, the, the one with the book covers. I'm going to probably reduce the number of books that you have to do, but I will create a sample menu, or rather a sample video so that you can follow along using Photopea and complete the assignment. Now that I'm saying that, in order for you to save your assignment and turn it in and using your Chromebook, which I know is uh, totally different, let's try to do this. Let's go to File and uh, Save as PSD, a Photoshop document. I'll be able to open these in Photoshop. Uh, I have a pop-up blocker. Let me whitelist this so that it doesn't bother me again. And hopefully you don't have the same issues that I have with that. Let me try file, uh, save as PSD. And I have my uh, Google Drive open up in my files. Um, I'll go straight to, rather my, not my files, because that'll save it in the computer. I'm going to use my Google Drive. Hopefully you have a Google Drive. If you don't have a Google Drive, please let me know. Um, so then maybe I can instruct you on how to do my files. But for now, I'm going to save it in my drive. I have uh, multiple folders. I usually just put everything in my drive C. Here, just to make it easy, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this Photo P. And open it. And my uh, document is already named as week091.psd, and I'm going to save. And uh, it's in my folder now. I can close this, and I'm going to go back to this assignment. I cannot turn stuff in because I'm an instructor, but I can go through the process with you. 9.1c, work with text. This is for your uh, Chromebook assignment. This will just show me the assignment again, 100 possible points. Uh, I'm going to click on Browse My Computer, same thing as we do on the lab. But instead, we have the Google Drive. I'll go to the Google Drive, find my Photo P folder. Here's week 9-1. Open that. And it tells me that these, this is the attached file that it's going to look for and upload. Uh, if you want to add any comments because you're still working on this, fine. Um, don't really need them, but I will be able to see your files once you turn them in and then just click on submit. Uh, it'll, this will give me an error, but if you get an error, please let me know so that uh, we can change or add instructions to this. And that completes this part of the assignment. I'm going to be creating a, uh, a book cover and uh, share that video with you uh, using Photopea so that we can continue with class.